uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video uh, we'll be talking about a special type of the ELISA which is known as the uh, competitive ELISA now uh, the first thing is what is ELISA now the enzyme linked immunosorbent assay or ELISA it is also known as the enzyme immunoassay so the ELISA or the EIA that is actually referring to one in the same technique so ELISA is a, a plate based assay technique which is designed for detecting and quantifying substances such as the peptides the proteins the antibodies and the hormone etc now the concept of the ELISA that was introduced in 1971 by Peter and Eva at the Stockholm University in Sweden when we talk about the ELISA, uh, there is uh, an enzyme which is conjugated with an antibody. As you can see over here, this is the antibody to which an enzyme that is conjugated. Or in another case, this enzyme, it can be conjugated with your protein of interest. Now, what I mean by this is that when you talk about the ELISA, there are different types of the ELISA. Like there, one type is known as the direct ELISA, the other one is known as the indirect ELISA, there is sandwich ELISA. So when you talk about those three types, uh, the direct, the indirect or the sandwich one, in these particular types of the ELISA, this enzyme that is attached to this uh, antibody and this is actually known as the antibody conjugate. Uh, so the antibody which is attached to an enzyme that is known as the antibody conjugate. Now what this enzyme do is that it acts on a substrate which is known as the chromogenic substrate. Initially this chromogenic substrate is colorless but when this enzyme it acts on this colorless substrate it is going to hydrolyze it into a colored product and this particular colored product is then going to give you uh, the uh, results, uh, the quantity and the uh, presence of your target in your sample. I have a detailed video on the other types of the ELISA like the direct, the indirect and the sandwich ELISA but in this particular video I want to focus on the uh, competitive ELISA so the basic difference between the other types of the ELISA and competitive ELISA will be that in the other types of the ELISA the enzyme that is attached to an antibody and in case of the competitive ELISA this enzyme that will be uh, that will be conjugated with your protein of interest your antigen of interest whatever the case is but the enzyme that will be attached to your target now what is competitive ELISA now the competitive ELISA uh, is also known as the uh, inhibition ELISA uh, the competitive ELISA again is a surface or the plate based assay where the plate is coated with the captured antibodies which are uh, reactive to the molecule of interest now in the uh, competitive ELISA what you do is that you are using two version of your protein of interest one that one in one case uh, your protein of interest that will be present in your sample and that will not be attached to anything in the other type that we'll be using in the competitive ELISA that your uh, protein of interest that will be made by the recombinant DNA technology and that recombinant protein that will be conjugated with the uh, enzymes. So in one case in your sample your protein of interest is not attached to anything. In the other case your protein of interest that has been conjugated with an enzyme. These two, the uh, protein of interest in your sample and the one you have conjugated with an enzyme is they are of the same nature. So they will be competing to attach for these capture antibodies. Therefore, we are using the, <coughs> excuse me, therefore we are using the term uh, competitive over here because two things, uh, the uh, protein in your sample and the protein that has been conjugated with enzyme both of these and they are actually competing to attach to these captured antibodies hence we are calling this as the uh, competitive ELISA now the competitive ELISA that is very really useful for the measurement of low molecular weight targets now uh, I'll uh, walk you through all of the uh, steps that are involved in the competitive ELISA and how you are going to interpret your results that uh, which kind of the results they are positive and which kind of the results they are negative and which kind of the results show you the higher quantity of your target in the sample and which uh, results show you the uh, less quantity of your target in your samples. 
So say for example, if uh, this is your sample, uh, it contains a variety of the proteins. You can see this blue one, this black one, this orange one, but we'll be interested only in this green one. So this green one, that will be your protein of interest that we will be uh, interested in a detection. So what you do in competitive ELISA is that in the first step, you will be coating the uh, plate with the capture antibody. If this is the surface of the ELISA plate well surface, so the first step is that you are going to coat these uh, to coat this ELISA plate surface with the capture antibody. And this capture antibody is actually specific for the uh, protein of interest over here. Uh, in the second step, what you do is that you will be blocking all of the other uh, surface or all of the other sites of attachment on this ELISA well plate with the bovine serum albumin or detergent. And the reason is that why we are covering the other species, the other empty species on the ELISA plate well surface is that this site can be utilized by other antibodies or protein for attachment and that can give you the false results. So once you have added your capture antibody that has been attached to all of the uh, sites that are available on the plate, so the remaining site they are actually blocked by the bovine serum albumin or detergent so that your uh, the specificity of re your results that do not get compromised. Now in the third step what you do is like if you can see over here this green one that is your protein of interest what we do is that to this protein of interest that we have produced recombinantly we have attached an enzyme and this HRP is actually the horse reddish peroxidase enzyme. So as I've told you at the start of the video that in the competitive ELISA the enzyme that is attached to your protein of interest so this is an example over here that in your sample you are interested in this green protein so what we do is that when we make the recombinant version of the screen protein we attached an enzyme to this so when the target protein that is attached to an enzyme that is actually called as an enzyme conjugate because the protein has been conjugated with the enzyme so in the third stage what you have to do is that you have to make this uh, enzyme conjugate Next, what you have to do is that you have to make this, uh, you have to add this enzyme conjugate and your sample to this particular well. Now, if, if this is the protein of interest, again here, this is the protein of interest. That means we are talking about the same protein. So both of them, they will be competing for the uh, attachment to the capture antibody. So next step that we do is that we add the uh, enzyme conjugate plus the sample into the ELISA well plate. Now, as you can see over here that uh, this one is uh, the protein from your sample, this green one and this green one and these uh, enzyme conjugate the, which is attached with the horse radish peroxidase, they are also there in the well. So they, now they will be uh, competing for this particular capture antibody. As you can see over here that to some antibodies, uh, the uh, enzyme conjugate that have been attached and to some antibodies, uh, your target protein that is not attached with the enzyme that have been attached to the uh, primary uh, or the capture antibody. So you are actually having a mixture of the uh, attachments over here uh, to some uh, antibodies, to some capture antibodies, the enzyme conjugate have been attached to some antibodies, the protein that is present in your sample that has been attached. In the next step, what you do is that when you wash the plate, all of the unbound proteins in your sample that is this black one this blue one and this orange one when you wash it because these proteins do not uh, have binding site in this uh, ELISA plate so they will be removed during the uh, washing step uh, in the next step what you do is that you will be uh, adding a colorless substrate for this particular enzyme and the uh, colorless substrate for this harsh reddish peroxidase that is commonly used is known as the uh, TMB substrate. This TMB is actually the tetramethyl uh, benzidine substrate. So this uh, TMB is actually working as a substrate for this particular enzyme. Now, as you can see over here as the enzyme that is present in the well, this enzyme is going to act on this colorless substrate and when it acts on it, that is going to give you a, a colored product because the TMB that has been acted upon by this enzyme, so this colorless TMB that will be converted into a colored product. 
uh, in the next step what you do is uh, you are going to stop the uh, reaction between the uh, hrp and the tmb so for this particular purpose you have to add a stop solution what the stop solution do is that it actually uh, block the interaction of the horse radish for oxidase and the tmb so this conversion of the color substrate into the color product uh, uh, no more it is happening that means that you have stopped the reaction this stop solution it usually uh, is a strong acid and it do two things one it stop the enzymatic reaction that means the hrp will no more be acting on the tmb and the second thing is do is that it is going to convert this blue color product into the uh, yellow one so uh, the enzyme when it acts on this colored substrate that will be converted into the blue color but the stop solution is going to convert it into the yellow color now there can be uh, two kinds of the uh, scenarios or two kind of the uh, you can say uh, experiments uh, in one experiment or in one sample uh, the protein in your sample that may be present in a higher quantity as compared to the uh, enzyme conjugate so in that particular case when the concentration of your target protein that is very high in the uh, sample and uh, the enzyme conjugate concentration is low what happens is that uh, most of the antibodies that are present in the ELISA plate that will be binded by the uh, in protein of interest the empty protein of interest i would say so as you can see over here there are just for the sake of the uh, understanding if there are five antibodies present in the well so four of the antibodies that have been attached by these uh, protein of interest that are present in your sample and only one of the antibody that has been bound by the enzyme conjugate what happens is that if you are adding a substrate uh, the colorless substrate for the hrp that is if you are adding the tm be you will be getting a blue color and then the stop solution will be giving you uh, a yellow color over here as you can see over here is the quantity of the enzyme that is very low so in this particular case the color production that will be very light or you will be getting a very a light color of the uh, color in your ELISA plate so when the concentration of the uh, protein in your sample that is high that is going to give you a very low color now this scenario is uh, uh, in contrast to the other types of the ELISA where the high concentration of the color show you the higher quantity of the target protein in your sample and the low uh, quantity or, or the low concentration of the color in the ELISA plate uh, it gives you that your uh, sample have got low quantity of protein in competitive ELISA it is the opposite if the uh, protein in your sample if your protein of interest in the sample is present in high quantity that is going to give you a very low color the reason is very clear because uh, these uh, target protein in your sample that have not been attached with the enzyme so the enzyme that will be present in very low quantity and a low quantity of the color substrate that will be converted into color and you will be getting a very light together if the opposite is the case if the target protein in your sample is very low that means that the uh, enzyme conjugate it will be in higher concentration so most of the antibodies that will be attached by the enzyme conjugate and if most of the antibodies they are attached by the enzyme conjugate that means that a lot of the uh, enzyme that will be present in the well and that will be converting a lot of the colorless substrate into the color product that you will be detecting so a uh, higher concentration of the color in the well that actually shows that the quantity of the target protein in your sample is low so if I give you a comparison of the two if the uh, target protein in the sample is high you will be getting a light color and if the uh, protein or the target protein in the sample if that is in low quantity that is going to give you uh, a very high color and as I've told you this is in contrast to the other types of the ELISA because in the other types of the ELISA the higher concentration of the color shows that the, uh, tar the, that the target protein in the sample is present in high quantity and a vice versa so uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends